Hello! So this summer we've spent a lot of time away from the camera and just being in the moment with some close family and friends. But we have done some cool short experiences that we did record. Um, we're also going to show a short adventure at the Wetlands Preserve that's in Las Vegas. So here we go! During the month of June, Grand Rapids holds their Asian Pacific Festival in the downtown area, put on by the Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Foundation. They have performances, lots of food trucks, and various booths that purvey different things that have connections to Asian culture. Overall, it's all things Asian American in the Grand Rapids area. I'll leave a link in the description for more info. While this festival is no longer going on this year, if you do plan to visit Grand Rapids in June of 2024, I definitely recommend looking for and attending this festival. So while we stayed in the downtown area, we had dinner at Madrid. This is a restaurant that's 27 stories up atop the Amway Grand Hotel. Um, we had an excellent meal there and would definitely go there again. After taking some time to look over the menu for starters, we ordered the pulpo a la galega, which is a Galician style grilled octopus with fingerling potatoes, dehydrated olive oil, pimento oil, and a squid ink vinaigrette. This was an amazing starter dish. The octopus was tender and not too rubbery and was cooked very well. The oils gave it a nice contrast and flavor and the potatoes were a great complement to the dish. It was very tasty. We also ordered the Castillas de Cordero which is a lamb chop dish with marcona almond, piccata, and ajo verde. This dish was very tender and the lamb chops were flavored so well. I don't know how to describe the flavor. The almond piccata and ajo verde were a nice sauce to add even more flavor to the dish. Would definitely order both of these again. For our main courses, we ordered the Iberico Chiletero which is Iberian bone and pork chop with romesco sauce paired with the Valencia orange and lemon citrus salad with sherry vinaigrette. We also ordered the pato, which is a dry aged duck breast with foie gras, dirty rice, caramelized fig, muscatel, sherry, and duck jus. Both of these dishes were very good. The pork chop was very tender and juicy and the salad was a great flavor changer that complemented the pork very well. The duck was cooked to almost perfection. It was tender and has a very great flavor. It wasn't too gamey tasting. I love the dirty rice with the fig and muscatel sherry. Both of these dishes I would order again. For our desserts, we ordered the El Limon, which is yuzu white chocolate mousse, Meyer lemon marmalade, lime caviar, and meringue. This dish was so good. It was sweet and tart and just very, very good. 10 out of 10. We also ordered the Lutz de las Vela, which is olive oil sponge cake, blood orange curd and caramelized honey mousse and white chocolate on the outside. You can see it's made to look like a candle. This dish was a surprise hit for us. I didn't think I'd like olive oil sponge cake, but it was so fluffy and moist. It was a cute experience and also very tasty. Overall, we truly enjoyed this restaurant and would definitely bring friends to enjoy this place again. While we were in the Grand Rapids area, we did a short stay at the um, JW Marriott that's also in downtown Grand Rapids. Um, we wanted to show the room, so here's the world's fastest room tour and a nice view, but we really stayed for the use of the tub since we don't get a tub in our RV.
So that was a bit of what we did in Grand Rapids for our summer. Um, I've held on to some footage that we took earlier this year while we were in Nevada. And since this video is short, we thought this would be a good place to show you guys an off the strip and an atypical experience to have in Las Vegas. This is the Wetlands Nature Preserve Park. This place has a few different walking trails to enjoy, as well as a museum exhibit, which is open Tuesdays through Sundays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The trails and exhibits are free entry, so bonus. This was a fun afternoon and a great place to take small children to see the exhibits or just walk the trails. I'll drop a link for this in the description below.
So that's it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed these side quests that we've done so far. And thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.